permanence impacts everything, including social values, trends, and family dynamics. In North America, the family life mythology of the happy Christmas greeting card nuclear family turns out to be a hoax. By 1970, just 40% of us were members of a household including one married couple and at least one child living at home. By the turn of the millennium, married couples with biological children in the home accounted for 26% of households. What our culture portrays as normal isn't normal anymore, if it ever was. Discussion about family life may trigger very different emotional reactions in two different very people. We all come to the rooms feeling something worse than different. We feel abnormal. Many of us grew up in dysfunctional homes as defined by adult children of alcoholic syndrome. We grew up with rigidity, excess, boundary issues, unclear roles, neglect, violence, and mixed messages. What mode of transportation our parents took is the least of our concerns. Any of us that did come from functional nuclear families are the true oddballs, according to statistics. We felt less than and expended energy trying to right perceived inadequacies. Meditation and healthier self-talk reinforces a sense that we are not inadequate. We are okay already, and the goal is not perfection. Willingness to change ourselves is a positive characteristic, but we are already worthy. We feel different, which of course is true, but we are right-bearing equals, be it a camel, a Mercedes-Benz, or public transit that gets us to the meetings. Thanks for starting your day with hammock readings. And we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.